Hey there guys, Joe here. It's really great to see all the new people in the channel. I just wanted to extend a big, huge hi out to all of Yeah? No, I'm just I'm just trying to do a video right now. But yeah, I mean, I could talk about Sherlock, except that everybody else in the channel has already talked about Sherlock, so I don't really want to do that. But everybody likes it. Why? What, even the ending? Know what I'm doing now, then? Whew. Oh, that's a lot better, isn't it? Right. A Scandal in Bohemia, which is what A Scandal in Belgravia was based on, featured possibly the most awesome badass in female form, Irene Adler. She was a prima donna of the Warsaw Imperial Opera. She was ravishingly beautiful, of course she was, and she was born in New Jersey. Now, in 1888, that's all it takes to become known as an adventurous of dubious and questionable memory, but these days, I think it takes a lot more than being born in New Jersey to do that. So, in our modern day AU fanfic, televised of course, of Sherlock Holmes, who do we have for Irene Adler? We have a lesbian dominatrix to the wealthy and powerful, which, you know, got it in one. So we get our first glimpse of Irene Adler when she prevents Sherlock and John from experiencing that wonderful thrill ride, the inevitable swimming pool of terrible explosive death, which is a really great ride, but you can only go on it once because then you're dead. It's in the name. And then we get about three quarters of the way through, and in my opinion, the wheels totally begin to come off the wagon a little bit. We have this, this puzzle that's been playing on our minds for a large part of the episode, which is, what is the gosh darn four-letter passcode to Irene's super-secret mobile of terrible secrets and terribleness? Oh my goodness, everything is about to go to hell in the handcart, and suddenly, Sherlock's got a little light bulb going on. How on earth does he find it out? How, what, after six gosh darn months has made it finally click for him? I took your pulse. You took you, you took her pulse, <laughs> and her pupils were dilated, and and that that means that you know the passcode now. Okay, so this passcode had better be like the best darn passcode in existence to make up for your like crazy deduction there. Really, I am Sherlocked. Really, I thought I was watching a serious TV show here. I don't even yeah. Come on, guys. Amateur hour, seriously. And to spiral even, you know, further down the drain there, we get Irene Adler, bereft of absolutely anything at all, about to get beheaded in Karachi. Yeah? No. I know that she said that she gave herself six months, but the woman rigged her own mobile phone that had all of her blackmail material on it with explosives. Four of them. She doesn't do things by halves. Come on, you guys, seriously. But in the end, again, snatching victory from the jaws of defeat and terrible beheading death, Sherlock Holmes just, he turns up in Pakistan right at the exact right moment. At this point, when he turns up, it's like the end of, of some shoddy rom-com. Just, oh, hey, look, here they are. I, I looked up into the, the, the football stadium full of billions of people, and I see my true love, and we make eye contact. This is like that kind of thing. Although, I have to say, if I ever do end up in a place where there might be a terror cell that's about to behead me, I hope that I'm lucky enough to pick one that is considered enough to let me text someone goodbye before they behead me. Because, I mean, that's all you can ask for, really. I mean, that's my last wish, is to text someone. And, you know... It, it could be someone that I really love, or it could be someone who had me beg for mercy and humiliated me and took away my protection and granted me a death sentence. But it's okay, because he's he's saving me now, so I guess we're good? Cool. Okay. I'm glad we've got that covered. So, I'm gravely... Gravely disappointed at what's going on here. I gather that mine is not the popular opinion because everybody seems to be saying, oh my god, this is the best episode ever, and I love Irene Adler, I love how ferociously intelligent she is. I love this depiction of her absolutely up until about three quarters of the way through Belgravia. So, uh, thank you for playing, and you guys have a nice week. See you next Saturday. Bye.